Hello and a very warm welcome to Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium for finals day here at the Yonix Japan Open for 2008. I'm Jill Clark and of course we have five finals for you this afternoon and as you can see we're going to start with the mixed doubles which is an all Indonesian affair but following this first final we'll have women's singles and Zhumi of Hong Kong up against the world junior champion from China Wang Yi Hun. Then after that we will have men's singles which will be an absolute thriller. Wong, sorry, Li Chong Wei up against Sonny Dui Kunchoro as the Indonesian pairs get introduced to the crowd for this first final. This a new combination of Rijal and Vita Marissa. And of course after that men's singles final we'll have men's doubles and then the last of our finals this afternoon will be women's doubles. But let's concentrate our efforts right now on the first of these finals, the mixed doubles. The number one seeds wearing the orange shirts, that's Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsia. Number one seeds and they were favourites of course for the Olympic gold medal in Beijing but lost in the final to Li Yongdae and Li Ho Jung. What a surprise that was. So many people favoured this Indonesian pair. But since the Olympic Games, Vita Marissa has swapped partnerships. Of course, she was in the Olympic semi-final with Flande Limpale, but now with a much younger player as we look first of all at Nova Woodyanto. 30 years of age, born in Klaten in Indonesia. 179, that's about sort of 5 foot 10. And of course they have been runners up for the last two years here at the Japan Open. Novio, Nova Woodyanto in partnership with Liliana Natsia. 23 years of age, turned 23 just 12 days ago. Number one in the world ranking and therefore the number one seed. Looking at their path through to today's final one, what a terrific tournament they've had. The number five seeds were disposed of very convincingly in that quarterfinal. Their teammates, Flande Limpale and Gracia Poli, and then against you and Kim in the semi-final yesterday, a three-game thriller. So this is the least experienced player on court at the age of 22, Mohamed Rijal. 77 and his partner this her fourth Japanese Open final in the mixed doubles she's twice been a winner and with two different partners in 2004 she won with a certain Nova Widianto who she's playing against today and then she won the title in 2006 playing with Flande Limpale and beat Nova Widianto. So she's got a terrific hit record here at the Japan Open. All of their matches won in two straight games and that's been pretty impressive. In fact, the longest of those matches, the semi-final yesterday against a new Gritaiwan and Vorovici Chaikul of Thailand in just 28 minutes. So that's an indication of how well this new partnership have started their international career. So for Nova Widianto, of course, he won the title, as I mentioned, with his opponent of today back in 2004. But for Liliana Natsia, still waiting for her first ever Japan Open title. Always very difficult, I think, for the players when they're all from the same nation. Mr. Tuhi and service judge from Hong Kong. Gangchu Kwon, be precise. So it's the number one seeds with the orange shirts and the Indonesian fans are here. I wonder which pair they're going to cheer for. Number one seeds, far side. Indonesia. Indonesia. 
Peter Lancaster Star to Lilian Nacini. Love all. Pray. Goodness me, I was about to say, what a start from Lita Marissa, but just missing with that cross-court shot. say I thought Nova Widianto I watched his quarterfinal against teammates Vlande Limpele and Gracia Poli and he looked so relaxed throughout in fact at times I just thought he was perhaps a little overconfident it'll be interesting to see how he reacts for today's final so too will be the reaction of this young man 22 year old Service over. Two, three. Oh, just pushed it long. Service over. Four. It's always Service. difficult, not only because the crowd here don't know which Indonesian pair to support, but of course these two pairs will be practicing together on a daily basis. They'll know each other's games inside out. Service over. Five. Three. Yeah, good aggressive play from Nova Widianto. Very deep defensive stance from Vita Marissa and her partner. Certainly if they're going to be defending, I'd like to see them stand their ground a little bit more and, and stand up the court because the further back in court you are, the lower the shuttle is going to be taken when you're defending. Oh, that's a super shot. Seven, two, four, seven. Played with disguise. And I think it's quite normal for us to see with both these Indonesian pairs, uh, the man going forward to the net. Years ago, the tradition was that the woman stayed at the front of the court. And I think, to be honest, we'll still see that happening the majority of the time. But I think the Indonesians are so strong in their defensive play, the women, that they'll quite happily go back to half court or even deep in court and allow the man to go forward. Good disguise on the serve. Widianto unable to get behind the shuttle. Ooh, that was a good serve too. Indecision from Liliana Nazia. All of a sudden, the margin has been reduced to just one point. Yeah, good judgment. Service over. Ten. Eight. Former world junior silver medalist. Rigel. Eleven, eight, interval. So the three point advantage at the mid game interval. And of course, no coaching staff involved because all four players from the same nation. And coaches would be showing favouritism advising one pair against teammates. It's the right idea. Trying to mix up the pace. Oh. 
Oh, my goodness. Well, what on earth can you do against that? The answer is nothing. Shuttle hitting the top of the tape, just going over. Good defence. And that's one of the rare occasions that Vita Marissa has really tried to intercept at the net. very much an Indonesian style that the women don't really hunt the net in the same way as perhaps a player as Gao Ling. As Gao Ling was twice an Olympic champion 2000 and 2004 in the mixed doubles event. Now clever smash across the body of Vita Marissa. Well, the defensive play of oh, the reigning world champions absolutely tested in that rally. But that is why, at times, they are so content just to defend. And I just wonder if this is the decisive move in this opening game. Hmm. 16, 11. Oh, good shot. Oh, even better. What a terrific defensive 16. shot from Mohamed Rijal. for the number five seeds because their opponents were beginning to impose themselves on this game. Must have taken our eye off the shuffle perhaps watching Nova Woody Anto. Oh, but it's a good return, makes amends 17. immediately. 14, 17. Just wide. Right idea 17. to try and get forward 18. to the net and just take the pace out of the shuttle. She's missed at the net now. Just mistiming it. Of course, these two women were women's doubles semi finalists last match on court yesterday evening. Friends and playing partners. But in this match, opponents. And it's game point now to the world champions. Ooh, yeah. Well, not the best of drop shots from Vika Marissa. 21-14 confirms the umpire in just nine minutes. And that, I think, an indication. Those early rallies were seem to be very short indeed. This the final drop shot. It's a couple of times that she's attempted a drop. It's certainly a good sound tactic 
absolutely no good whatsoever if you can't get it over. Four straight points to close out that opening game. we are to see this new pairing take this final the full distance I'd really like to see Vita Marissa going forward to the net a little bit more and challenging her opponents because at the moment the number one seeds are completely controlling the match at their pace Oh, now, that is world-class play. Having played the push, she came forward to the net at exactly the right moment. That's the sort of thing that I would like to see Vita Marissa doing a little more of. I know that she's a world-class player at the front of the court, but she's really not showing that so far today. Three, one. The underdogs not helping their cause with errors on serve. Seven, two, three. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice from Nova Widianto. Created such power with so little backswing. Yeah. That's nice. didn't find any penetration with his attacking play in that opening game, Mohamed Rijal. Yeah, she's not having the best of games so far, Vita Marissa. Just short of the mark. Oh, yes, that's a terrific rally. The power play from Rigel and then his partner really hunting the net. That's classic tactics in mixed doubles. landed in. What a good lift. Yeah, good call by the line judge. So too was that. And certainly a turnaround in momentum at the moment.
another one drifts wide. There is a slight drift in this arena. And as we look down, down on the court, it is blowing the shuttle from left to right. So, in contrast to that opening game, this time it's the underdogs who have the advantage. Handsome one it is, too. Five points. And the big difference is the fact that the number five seeds are prepared to attack and maintain that attack. Oh, all credit to Vita Marissa because in the opening game she was struggling with her form. She's played herself back into this match. And so there's an error on defence from her. Oh, it's just long. The aggressive play switched from one pair to another. Well, I said right at the start of the match that the defensive qualities of all these Indonesian players are really quite brilliant. That rally showed it because there was some fearsome attacking shots, some heavy smashes, and yet still the rallies continued. Yeah, disappointed with his defence. This is the fifth final of the year for the number one seeds. Winners, of course, of the Singapore Open, runners up three times All England Olympics and Asian Badminton Championships. So their record in finals for 2008 has not been as good as they would like it. She was ready for that. Well, it's a lovely return. It's landed on the line. From my commentary position, I'm looking straight down that line. That was a perfect reply. <laughs> and a wry smile from Vita Marissa. Goodness me, there was a huge gap down that forehand side. She knew it. Oh, superb. How to outmaneuver your opponent. Oh, yeah. 
great interception from Nova Widianto. I think at the start of this second game, he was particularly passive in his play. Happy to defend. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, good judgment from Lilian and that's here. 13, disguise well that was incredible <laughs> well I don't think I've seen as good as that in all tournament brilliant and no wonder they want to take a breather but Nova Woody Anto is gulping in our air perhaps after the Olympic silver medal time off from training this of course the first super series event post the Beijing Olympics. Quality net shot from Vita Marissa. That's set up the rally. And now just two points away from the second game. Sending this to a decider. Yeah, well taken. And as I suggested, she should. She has moved forward in this second game. She's dominated the front of the court. And now the number five seeds have six game points. Defensive shot from Nova Widianto. That's absolutely out of this world. And that's long of the back line, and indeed we will have a deciding game. One game apiece. Muhammad Peter Mansa, 21 15. The umpire confirming the score that it's one game all, and we will have a third and deciding game. Well, there's no questioning the capabilities of the reigning world champions, Nova Wudianto and Liliana Natsia. Six finals last year, winning four of them. Four finals already this year, having won just one. But for this new pairing, well, I certainly remember being back 
to a player and starting a new partnership and there was a certain freshness about it. You're of course very enthusiastic to do well with a new partner and opponents don't really know how to play you tactically and therefore sometimes a bit of a honeymoon period when you first start playing with a new partner. So third and deciding game and the number one seeds have got to raise their game because all of a sudden Vita Marissa having gone from the player who in all honesty was the one really struggling in the opening game with her form that second game certainly towards the end of the second game was the most outstanding player on court Seven, two. One, two. Wonderful tactical awareness by the number five seeds. Rajal smashing down the centre of the court. It narrowed the angle of reply and therefore gave his partner the opportunity then to intercept, which she did so well. Early stages, 3-1. Brilliant. Suddenly, Liliana Natsir comes forward to the net, something she's been, in my opinion, perhaps a little too reluctant to do in that second game. I know she's got a wonderful defence, but I think that she's even better at the front of the court. Controlling the rallies, mixing up the pace. Oh, that's wild. Five, three. I suspect the shuttle may have actually been deflected by the net cord. And therefore difficult for him to control the reply. And we'll give him the benefit of the doubt anyway. Ah, oh, that's a good smash. Seven, two, four, five. Now we've got a real battle between these two women. Who can dominate the front of the court? Who's going to be more aggressive? And just in case you think that's a bit of a sexist remark, of course, mixed doubles is about the man controlling the game from the back of the court and then... The rallies are usually finished off from the woman at the front. Good judgment. Shuttle going well long of that back line. Oh, that's a good smash across the body of Vita Marissa. Leapt onto that half court push so quickly, did Nova Woodyanto. Eight, 
sit. Twice world champions, incidentally. Nova and Liana won the title in 2005 in Anaheim and then of course regained the world title last year in Kuala Lumpur. One game all, eight all in the decider. Oh, just apologises for the good fortune of the net court. Block there from Rigel. Now he's missed it. Seven, two, nine, ten. So it's the underdogs who have the advantage as the players change ends in this deciding game. Slim advantage it is though, just two points. Never more than two points separating these two pairs in this final game. Vita Marissa trying to become the first woman since Nora Perry to win this Japan yes. Open. Mixed doubles event three times with three different partners. Nora Perry from England, of course. from the number one seeds to move Rijal from one side to the other like that was absolutely extraordinary. And in attempting to dive, well he did dive, he's left rather a lot of perspiration on the court surface. The moppers are out. volunteers and the court attendants this whole week at the Yonex Japan Open have been absolutely superb. Uh -oh. uh, suddenly there's a little more urgency in the play of Widianto and Natsia. Oh, yes. 
great anticipation. And that's the sort of thing that she just wasn't doing in that opening game. Seeing the half opportunity when to move forward to the net. By that time, spot on. Question the cross court smash from Nova Widianto left a huge gap down the forehand side of the court. Lost her patience in the end. 32, 12, 14. There's a partner just trying to steady her down, so don't worry. Next rally. Oh, goodness, what sort of serve was that? 32, he must 15, have changed his mind. Yeah. It wasn't really a flick and it certainly wasn't a short serve. Perhaps the nerves getting to the favoured pair. Of course, the burden of expectation when you're the number one seeds, the reigning world champions, and obviously expected to beat uh, 17, teammates. 13, 15. And, but this is far from over. It's still anyone's match. Well, that certainly won't help the number one seeds cause. Every time I think they're just beginning to sort of settle themselves down and say, okay, we're right back in this, then there's a simple error. Yeah, much more aggressive in that rally from the Olympic silver medalists. God, I have faith in themselves that they are the best in the world. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing happens again. They play a brilliant rally. I think they're right back in there. And then a simple error and a very short rally. It's wide, and the little tap from Vita Marissa was absolutely brilliant. That was the one. be the defining moment of this final. 18, 18. A golden opportunity for Vita Marissa. Man, she played it into the net. Oh. It's going to go wide. 17,
the deficit now, just one point. Well, it was the indecision at the back of the court from Nova Widianto. Gave the opportunity and gave the attacking play away. And now the number five seeds just two points away from the title. Now just the one. And a little clenched fist from Mohamed Rijal. This would quite clearly be the biggest ever title of his career. No, missed it. <laughs> Big smile from Vita Marissa. Do enjoy watching her play. In fact, I enjoy all the Indonesians. They have such a wonderful, relaxed style. <laughs> the error on the return of serve. Two of the match points have been squandered. One more remains. The serve is short. And a disappointing way for the final to end. But Mohamed Orijal, absolutely ecstatic. He and Vita Marissa have won the Yonex Japan Open for 2008. It's his first Super Series title. For Vita Marissa, the most extraordinary record here at the Japan Open. Her third title with her third different mixed doubles partner. Vita Marissa. 14, 21, 21, 15, 21, 19. The umpire confirming the score. But as I was saying, third title with third different partner. In 2004, she won with her opponent of today, Nova Woody Anto. In 2006, she won with Flande Limpale. And now in 2008, has won with Mohamed Rijal. Two year intervals between the titles the three titles is really very special indeed. Players will be interviewed on court for the local network. It gives me an opportunity to remind you of course of the other finals coming up this afternoon. After the medal presentation for the mixed doubles we will have the women's singles where Ju Mi, former Chinese player, now representing Hong Kong, who of course was a bronze medalist at the Olympic Games in Athens in 2004. She's up against the current world junior champion, Wang Yihan of China. Then men's singles and the Olympic silver medalist from Beijing, Li Chong Wei, number one seed up against the number two seed from Indonesia, Sonny Dui Kunchoro, who himself was a bronze medalist at the Olympic Games, but four years ago, in Athens. Then we'll have the men's doubles and Asan and Septano of Indonesia up against number two seeds from Denmark, the former world champions Lars Porska and Jonas Rasmussen. And then the last final of the afternoon will be women's doubles, Ching and Zhao of China up against Chin Yi Hui and Wang Pei Ti of Malaysia. So as we just watch the highlights from that wonderful mixed doubles final. We will be right back in time for the presentation of all the finalists. The moment of ecstasy, the moment of victory. And for Mohamed Rijal, his first ever Super Series title in his first ever tournament with new partner, Vita Marissa. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to draw your attention to the awarding ceremony of the winners of Mixed Doubles.
So the players are led forward. The finalists from the mixed doubles final here at the Yonex Japan Open 2008. An upset in the final because the reigning world champions and world number ones, Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsir, defeated by their teammates. This new partnership of Mohamed Rijal and Vita Marissa. For Vita Marissa, her third mixed doubles title here at the Japan Open with her third different partner. This was their fifth final of the year and the fourth time they've had to settle for second best. The only title they've won was the Singapore Super Series event earlier this year and their defeats included that at the Olympic Games in Beijing. The silver plates presented as well as the medals to the champions. First ever tournament together in international terms and my goodness what a way to start and how lovely that Vita Marissa hands her partner the trophy for him to hold aloft it's the first ever Super Series tournament victory for Mohamed Rijal and it's a very special moment that first ever title let me assure you of that but for the world champions a disappointment obviously but if they had to lose to someone, I guess they'd prefer to lose to teammates than anyone else. Eleven thousand six hundred US dollars. Of course, this is Super Series event. Two hundred thousand US dollars prize money in total. Every athlete will tell you it's not about the prize money, it's about the titles. And what a moment for this new partnership. We're going to see an awful lot more of them. They are a class act. And certainly I have to say how impressed I was with Vita Marissa, who didn't start the final in the best of form. Struggling to find her range on her little net shots and drop shots from the back of the court but she played herself in she stuck with the task and in the end she was the outstanding player on court absolutely terrific and a lesson to so many youngsters as to why you never give up in any sport in any event anywhere in the world because there is always an opportunity to come back so it's the two mixed doubles finalists pose for the army of photographers here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium in Tokyo. We will be right back with the second of our finals in just a moment. It's women's singles, Zhu Mi of Hong Kong up against Wang Yihan of China.